I'm Steve Casado with Adrenaline Barbecue Company, and today we're grilling swordfish steaks on the Slow and Sear. Swordfish is a great fish for the grill, especially something that's searing really hot. So it holds up to the grill just as good as meat does. Swordfish reminds me of the summer. We're gonna start things off by dry brining the swordfish anywhere from an hour all the way to about a day. Once it's been dry brined, we're gonna pat it dry. We're gonna load up the slow and sear with about a half a chimney of charcoal. Fish doesn't really benefit much from using the cold grate technique, so we're going to omit that today. Then we're just gonna sear it up on the slow and sear serve it up with a delicious summery lemon caper butter sauce. We're gonna do it all right on the Sloan's here. Let's just get right into it. Now we wanna get these coals about 70% lit. We want flames sort of cascading out of the chimney or above the top of the coals, but keep some of them still black. We don't want them to all get white hot in the chimney because that's then going to limit the amount of heat and time that you have super high heat in your slow and sear. It sort of just wastes the energy because we also need to get the grill heated up to temperature. So we're gonna let these go and prepare the sauce. Butter sauce consists of butter mainly, but that's in the refrigerator because I want it cold. And that's gonna be the last thing I add. A beurre blanc is sort of like a reduction of wine and a couple of other things. And it's sort of finished, or they call it mounted with butter to kind of give it the body that you're looking for. So we basically start out with just throwing a bunch of things in a pot that we're then gonna reduce over the heat of the slow and sear. So we start with half of a shallot, finely diced. Then about a quarter cup of white wine quarter cup to a half cup of cream, a little bit of Dijon mustard, about two tablespoons, and then about two tablespoons of capers, and a little bit of their juice, because I kind of want that brininess. And I'm just gonna take about a half of a lemon and squeeze it in. So now this is just gonna go straight onto the heat while we sear the steaks. And when the steaks are about finished, I'm gonna let them rest while I add the butter to the sauce. So this is about when I want to add the coals. So I got my swordfish steaks here, dry brined, patted them dry, oiled them lightly on all sides, and then seasoned them with pepper. No additional salt. I've got this hot, so we're just gonna sear these guys off now. We wanna pull these off the heat at around 130 degrees and let that carry over cook. So let's get these on. One thirty four. So we got a nice sear on the swordfish. It looks really pretty. The sauce came out really nice. 
It's acidic to balance out sort of the meatiness of the swordfish. Let's see how we did inside. You know, sometimes we forget about fish when we're cooking outside and grilling. We think it's delicate, hard to cook, sticks all the time. But if you got the right equipment and you know how to have patience and let the heat kind of do its work, you can get amazing results. Just as good as any meat cooked on the slow and sear. Because of the dry brine, I'm not really missing any salt. And the butter sauce, even though there's a lot of butter in it, because it's got wine, it's got lemon juice, it's got capers, all these things are acidic, so it sort of balances everything out. So the result is surprisingly lighter than you might think. And you're also just not using that much. It's just to kind of brighten up the fish. So there you have it. Delicious grilled swordfish with delicious sauce using the slow and sear and the dry brine method. I hope you guys try this and enjoy it. I'm Steve Casado with Adrenaline Barbecue Company where we didn't invent the kettle, we perfected it. Hey.